Hello everybody and welcome to example one. We're still looking at page 34 of the workbook here and this is going to be our first example of actually calculating the equation of a tangent plane and using it to approximate a function. Okay, now before we dive into this, I want to make it clear that the formula for a tangent plane is actually contained up here. Okay, I'm not sure how good a job I did of, of pointing that out in the last video, so let's just remind ourselves of that. So equation of the tangent plane looks like, if we write it all out, this in general. x minus a plus fy ab y minus b. Okay, so we'll kind of keep that in mind that that's our actual formula for the equation of a tangent plane. Okay, and if you look at that, um, kind of think back to what we talked about in the, in the previous video. There's a point where we're finding the tangent plane. That's the zero, zero that they're giving us. So the zero, the two zeros are our a and our b. We'll keep that in mind as we go through. And finding the equation, the, the tangent plane to this formula really amounts to finding three numbers, f of a, b, the derivative of f in the x direction at a, b, and the derivative in the y direction at a, b. If we can identify those three numbers, we can fill in the details and write down the equation. Okay, so you can see that two of those three numbers represent derivatives, so we'll start by taking the partial derivative of our function with respect to a and um, with respect to x and y. Okay, so the derivative of f in the x direction, okay, we need to take the derivative of this formula with respect to x. That means that y is constant, so we can take the y plus one and just factor it out. And all that's left to take the derivative of is the e to the x squared plus y squared. Okay, so we're gonna get y plus one. And then if we take the derivative of e to a power, okay, we're gonna need to use the chain rule. So the derivative of e to a power is just e to that power times the derivative of the power. And what would the derivative of the x squared plus y squared be with respect to x? Well, we're just going to get 2x. The y squared is going to go to 0 because y is being treated as a constant. Okay, so there's our derivative in the x direction. And what about the derivative in the y direction? Okay, well, this time y is being treated as a variable, and so we've got variables in both pieces of the function, y plus 1 and e to the x squared plus y squared, so we're going to need the product rule to take that derivative. All right, so we're going to get the first times the derivative of the second. Okay, and if we take the derivative of e to the x squared plus y squared, we're going to get e to the x squared plus y squared, okay, times the derivative of the exponent, which this time is going to be 2y, the x squared goes away because it's being treated as a constant. Okay, so there's the first part of the product rule. Um, now we need the second function, e to the x squared plus y squared, times the derivative of the first. Okay, and the derivative of y plus 1 with respect to y is just 1. Okay, and I'm just going to put a note here to remind you that we use the product rule to come up with that derivative. Okay, let's simplify just a little bit here. Okay, so uh, y plus 1 e to the x squared plus y squared times 2y. Actually, not much we can do with that. And then e to the x squared plus y squared times 1 is just e to the x squared plus y squared. Okay, so there are our two derivatives. We'll just underline them. Okay, and then to come up with our formula for the tangent plane, it's about finding these three numbers again. Let's calculate those one at a time. Okay, so starting with f of a, b, a and b again are 0 and 0 in this problem. So we're just going to take zeros and plug them into our function, which is sitting here. So we're going to get 0 plus 1 e to the 0 squared plus 0 squared is just 0, that's going to turn out to just be 1. Okay, moving on to the second of the three numbers, fx at a, b is fx at 0, 0. So we need to take 0 and 0 and plug it this time into 
our derivative with respect to x. So if we take zeros and plug them in for all of our variables, we're going to get 0 plus 1 e to the 0, 2 times 0. Well, we're multiplying by 0, so that's just going to come out to be 0. Okay, and then finally, third of our three numbers is fy at 0, 0. Okay, so we're going to take y equals 0, well, x and y equal to 0, and plug it into our formula for fy. And if we do that, let's see, we're kind of running out of space here. Um, this first term, that's going to become 0 because we're multiplying by y, which is 0. So really, we're just going to get 0 plus e to the 0 in the second term, and that's going to give us a 1. Okay, so the technical algebraic details here are a little bit tedious, but all we're really doing is plugging numbers into these derivatives and functions that we have. Okay, so we are ready then to write down the equation of the tangent plane, which again looks like this. Let's, let's write it all out. Okay, but we'll use the values of a and b that we know. times x minus a, which is 0, plus fy at 0, 0, times y minus 0. Now it's just a matter of plugging these three numbers in. f of 0, 0, we can see from above is 1. fx at 0, 0 is 0, and then fy at 0, 0 is 1. Okay, and if we substitute those three in, we're going to get 1. Um, second term is going to go away because it's multiplied by 0, and then 1 times y minus 0 is going to give us 1 plus y. Okay, so the equation of the tangent plane looks like z equals 1 plus y. Okay, now what can we do with that tangent plane? All right, well, part B asks us to use the tangent plane to approximate the value of a function, okay, just to illustrate why we use that word approximation. Okay, so um, they're asking us really to do two things here. They want the exact value of f of 0.1.1. How about if we do that first? We'll get a number for that, and then we'll do the approximation with the tangent plane and compare our answers. Okay, so the exact value of f of 0.1 and 0.1 just means that we're literally going to take those that, that x and y and plug it into our function directly. Okay, let's see if we can sneak the picture back in here. Okay, so the formula for our function was sitting up here. So we're just going to take 0.1 and plug it in for our x and our y. Okay, and that's a, really a job for your calculator. And if you plug that in, you're going to get 1.1222 off to infinity. That number that we just calculated is the exact value of our function. Okay, so what we want to do now is to compare that to the approximate value using the tangent plane. What does that mean? Well, it just means that to, to get an approximation for this number, instead of plugging into the original function, we are going to plug it into our formula for the tangent plane, which looks like this, 1 plus y. Okay, so we're going to take 1 plus y, and we're going to evaluate it at the point, point 0.1, point 0.1. Okay, notice that there's no x in that formula, there's just a y, so we just need to take the y value of 0.1 and plug it in, and that's going to give us 1.1. Okay, and that 1.1 is the approximate value. Okay, what do you think? How good is that approximation? Well, 1.122 and 1.1, those are reasonably close together, okay? So not a bad approximation that we've got here. 